Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. 12 June, it's a Friday. After a wild Thursday, check this dollar max chart out 2184, 2273. That's like sobering, right? That would sober up Cheech and Chong. Um, man, big, big days. Every chart's the same. Let's take a look at our friend Dollar Czar. We got long at the close. We thought, okay, this will be tradable up around the 90s. Here we are at 12. Went all the way up to 26 last night. Got some lonely fucking bids down there that are never going to get filled. Frustrating. Um... And it goes to show how how sinister this business is. Even when you get it right, uh, sometimes you feel like you get kicked in the balls. Uh, amazing. Amazing this business. Why anyone would want to become a trader, I, I just don't know. ES, bang, 31.84. Down to last night was 29. 92 almost 200 handles 40 handle bounce here there are some heavy bids in the 90s according to the people that I speak to um, I don't know what that means but there was some uh, there was some good good volume um, down in the 90s some standalone bids uh, so be aware of that or, or keep an eye on that today uh, as we I think Probably are going to head back down there at some point. Usually after a big um, bar like this, uh, we get some sort of continuation. What's a little spooky about this is we didn't, you know, we only got a four handle. We got, we made a four handle lower low, uh, and now we've had a pretty strong bounce. So be careful uh, selling this too early. You may want to use some fibs or something. Um, what's the 50% of that bar? I don't know off the top of our heads. It's 90 handles, so 3080 between 3080 and 3100. You maybe want to let some go. Very very tricky here, right? Uh, unless you want to use yesterday's PNL as a cushion. Um, the risk reward on any new trades goes quite upside down if you want to leave a stop above 3184 anyway let's uh, stop looking backward and, and look forward here euro sterling looks like it wants to turn yesterday Boris came out with his little I'm gonna meet his counterpart in Europe I forget what the lady's name is um, we had a quick little move down to 90 96 this one here so we went down to 94 stopped everybody out up to 14 zip did a little zipper down to uh, 60 this is a sneaky one right like if they if they get some brexit progress the market will be surprised euro sterling will take a bath um, so we're we're keeping an eye on this and we're going to we're going to we're going to play a little Euro Sterling short song today. Um, nothing crazy. It's going to be a fade. So fades are hard. Um, but we like Euro Sterling shorts. Euro surprised me. Uh, loosened up through 113.20 all the way down to 112.76. The one thing I'm quite sure of is all of the recent buyers of Euro are going to have a stop below 112.40. So that'll be an interesting point, I think. Um, this trend line probably is already gone. It looked so big yesterday. It looked so solid. This is your death knock. 113.28, we're going to see that. I don't know. If you want to get short euros, maybe that's your point. Uh, One thirteen twenty. We we don't have a dog in this fight, so we're not really we're not really playing. We're just talking about it for now. But one twelve uh, forty is of interest. 
uh, I need to see more price action and see what the story is before I before I get all all juiced up for that Aussie <laughs> smashed 68 to figure traded last night it's 270 points from the highs for those of you who have taken arithmetic in school you'll recognize that I use a subtraction principle there. 200 and 70 pips. Bang. Um, this is a sell, right? So where do you want to sell it? Up at 69 to figure. It's at 68.40. Is it ever going to get up there? I don't think so. So look for some sideways action here. Be patient. Again, if you're late to this game, FX is going to sucker you in and your stops are going to be in the wrong place and or if they're in the right place the risk reward is going to be upside down you're you're forced now to be patient you know everyone's excited big move yesterday it's all happening uh, I would caution your excitement and remind you you should never really get excited in trading just stay neutral what else is out there dollar yen not doing too much did a little slippery slopey down there to one 106 uh, 50 106 to figure is the next interesting point we don't know what to do with dollar yen it's it's uh, confusing to us um, so we don't we're not really playing in that space but um, we're keeping an eye on 106 to figure down through there they'll be like this will be sort of the sea change moment where the, if we get down through there, the bears uh, will be in charge. Sterling Yen got smoked. We saw that. We never really got the bounce that we wanted yesterday. Um, we weren't watching it too closely. Did we get the bounce we wanted? On 35.90. I guess that's it was pretty close to 136. But anyway, we didn't sell it. Uh, just absolutely destroyed. Um, but now it looks like it's balancing a little bit. Nothing to do here. All these hand crosses, there's nothing to do. You're in the middle of nowhere. You're late to the game. You're not dressed for the party. Uh, so, patience, patience, patience. Euro Sterling looks of minor interest to us. Uh, and then we'll be patient with all of the risk off proxies. Let's look at ZN, see if that's doing anything. Not really. This, um, this yield. Whoa. French keyboard, sorry. Um, this yield is below 75. That chart doesn't mean anything to us except for those who got excited like we did through 75 basis points um, are now sucking sweaty balls. If you're still short, uh, not much to do there. Bitcoin, not much going on here either. I guess it took it took a kick in the crotch yesterday. But it's just floating around up here. This thing is going to explode one of these days. I uh, wish I knew when. Um, Finally, Euro Norway called the turn there pretty well, didn't we? Um, we're out of those longs as well. This will be a sell at 11. Uh, again, middle of nowhere, so be patient. You see what the theme is, crude, same thing. Uh, we talked the talk yesterday pretty well in crude, but we didn't make any money on it, so it doesn't really, doesn't really count. It's just kind of stupid. Um, but crude looks like it's turned as well. You can see the risk off game is back in town. Now you just have to time today's tactical trades properly. Um, wish I could help you with that. Looks pretty tricky from here. We're going to give it some time, give it some thought. And in the meantime, we'll be uh, playing the Euro Sterling short game. Good luck out there, people. Good weekend. Catch you on Monday. Ciao.